how to master your pull-up part three. Now that you've made it to part three, we're gonna talk about how to master your pull-up through structured routines, routine examples, and staying consistent. Number one, structured routines. A basic example would be to periodize your phases of training. For example, spend four weeks in hypertrophy phase, building the muscle you need to do the pull-up in eight to 10 reps, and four weeks in strength phase to build strength to complete the pull-up in reps of four to six. Let's say in your phases of four weeks, you train two times a week upper body. There's your structure. Number two, routine examples. So we have our structured phases of training. How do we structure our actual workout routine? Let's note we want to do this in a way that we can make progressions where needed and regressions as needed. Start basic and simple. Let's use the exercises from part one. We want to build the initial muscle and strength to be able to do a pull up. The first four weeks are in hypertrophy phase in reps of eight to 10. On day one, you're training a kettlebell row for eight reps, inverted row for eight reps, a band lateral raise for 10 reps, and a front plank for some core work for 30 seconds. You'll do this for two to four rounds and you'll make adjustments as you begin to progress in your exercises. On day two, you are training an inverted row for eight reps, a bar hang for 30 seconds, a dumbbell press for eight reps, and a side plank for 20 seconds each for two to four rounds. You are hitting most of the same muscle groups as day one, but you can also throw in accessory muscle exercises and anterior muscle group exercises for well-rounded training. Pro tip, remember that you want well-rounded training that's going to be preventative of injury. That means throwing in any kind of accessory band work or exercises, as well as training your push muscles is going to be just as important. If you want to know more about training accessory muscles or training push muscle groups, check out some of our other content on our school platform. Last but not least, number three, staying consistent. You have your workout routine structures, now you need to stay consistent. If you stay consistent, you'll begin to notice changes in your lean muscle mass and strength. Take note of increasing weight or progressing to a harder exercise if you have become consistently good at achieving a simpler or more basic exercise. For example, your inverted row has become a little bit too easy for you to achieve, so progressing yourself to a banded pull-up might be something you want to give food for thought. Remember to take a couple of steps back or regress yourself where needed if you still feel weak in a particular area and feel that it needs more attention or work. Pro tip, your technique is going to matter more than anything to keep from injuring yourself. Thank you all for joining me on this three-part series. If you like this content but still feel that you need a little bit more guidance, contact us about our one-on-one -on -one coaching or group training.